Hi again, I'm Dr. Stuart Porter from Somme Health. We're here to instruct you on how to take your body measurements for your plan. We brought with us the lovely Vanna White. Uh, first of all, we'll measure the neck. If you can, try and find a, a mark on the skin, uh, a mole, uh, a mark of some sort, perhaps an old scar. Um, and that will help you remember exactly where you measured it the first time, so that with subsequent measurements we're more accurate. In this case, middle of the neck, don't pull too tight, take the measurement, record it. The next area that we'll be doing is the upper arm, the tricep area. <laughs> In this particular area, um, make sure again it's the center area. If you can find a lovely mole, and we find one here amongst all the hair on Vanna. <laughs> Measure that, as we mentioned before, in inches. Center of the arm, upper arm. Look at that measurement and record it. Massive. If you wish to do both sides, that's fine. It's probably a good idea to, to measure both sides, both the thighs and upper arms. For demonstration purposes, we'll just do one of each. The next area to measure is that of the chest. We want that pretty much in the center of the chest. Um, that may have to differ depending on uh, where the breasts are, but generally just the, the largest area of the chest. And again, brought around to the center. Don't squeeze too tight. Take the measurement and record it. The next area to measure is at the umbilicus or belly button. And that one we want to, uh, we don't need a marker in the skin on that one, of course. It's right at the belly button. Go around the back. Feel where the belly button is. Take that measurement without pulling too tight. Record it again. Two more measurements. The next one is at the hips, and that should be measured at the widest part of the hips. Some have wider hips than others, but that's exactly where we should measure. So, try to get an idea of where that widest part is. Take the measurement. Record it. Lastly is the upper thigh area that we'll be measuring, and that should be measured at the widest part of the thigh. And once again, if you can find a, a skin landmark, that'll be helpful for accuracy. Let's see if that's the widest part, and that feels like it is. Take that measurement and record it. This will be very helpful for us to have these measurements as you go through the program. There will be times when the weight doesn't come off as pronounced as perhaps you'd like, but you'll oftentimes see inches lost during that time frame. Thanks again. Thank you, Vanna. No problem.